Hello and welcome to vlog number 61. Following on from last week's vlog about speech problems, I'm going to talk about problems with swallowing, known as dysphagia, in Parkinson's disease, which is a closely related issue. Swallowing problems are generally dealt with by a speech and language therapist. Many people with Parkinson's have trouble with swallowing because the muscles in the mouth and throat become less effective at doing their job causing difficulty with chewing and swallowing solid foods and swallowing liquids. In turn, this can lead to aspiration, the inhalation of liquids and or solids into the lungs, which can result in pneumonia. The leading cause of death amongst people with PD is pneumonia as a result of aspiration. The automatic reflex actions involved in chewing and swallowing seem to be lost and saliva production appears to increase. Although this may be due to the fact that the reflex swallowing of saliva is all but gone, so you need to consciously remember to swallow on a regular basis to avoid the embarrassing drooling of excess saliva. Not as simple as it sounds when you've had a lifetime of not having to think about it. Some of the signs of a swallowing problem are coughing and choking when eating or drinking, choking on saliva, Difficulty swallowing certain foods or liquids, eating more slowly than usual, frequent chest infections, drooling, needing a drink to wash down food, loss of appetite. A person with dysphagia is at increased risk of losing weight, becoming dehydrated and suffering malnutrition. The impact on quality of life should not be trivialised either because, and I know this from personal experience, the pleasure of eating is replaced with embarrassment, discomfort and anxiety. I have, in the past, avoided eating when other people are present because you feel, rightly or wrongly, that everyone is watching you. I feel that this is another symptom of Parkinson's that is little known and as such needs to be brought to the attention of the general public. Parkinson's disease is hardly a scarce condition but I'm constantly amazed at the lack of awareness that exists with regards to the symptoms of it. My mother had PD for many years before my own diagnosis, and it was only when I was diagnosed that I began to appreciate the complexity of this disease. So if I, as a person with Parkinson's, was unaware of most of the symptoms apart from the tremor, then it's little surprise that the wider public is also unaware. So can anything be done to help a person suffering with dysphagia? Speech and language therapists are one of the first ports of call and they can suggest exercises and give tips to help overcome some of the problems experienced, referring you to other professionals as appropriate. Following assessment of the patient's particular problems, a speech and language therapist will work with the patient and other professionals, such as a dietitian, to come up with a plan to suit the patient's needs. Such a plan may include adjustment of posture when eating and drinking, the use of special equipment to assist safety and comfort. Exercises to strengthen lips, tongue and throat muscles to make swallowing more effective. Changes to diet to make foods and liquids easier and safer to swallow. Breathing techniques to limit the risk of choking and coughing. And changes to eating speed and mouthful size. I have just been referred for speech therapy by my Parkinson's nurse. Not specifically for swallowing problems, although I do have some minor issues. So it will be interesting to see what they can do for me. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.